This is Mr. Anger. We're going to do a lesson from Pace 1078 in math. And uh, this is about uh, ratios. Let's look at page 28. And by the way, I'm wearing my Hawaiian Aloha shirt because today at our Christian school, it was International Day. And I woke up forgetting about it. And this is all I had in my closet. So I said, hey, Hawaiian. Uh, I love wearing Hawaiian shirts. So rather than a tie, yeah, so today's Friday anyway, so I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. All right, here on page 28, <coughs> uh, Reginald is showing us the method here, and I love ratios. I think ratios are so, make, there's so many things, so many applications. And as we move on into upper level science, you are going to use ratios all the time to make your math and science problems easier to solve. So this is really good. I'm excited that uh, we're getting some more practice with uh, doing ratios. So let's look at um, then the problem here. He talks about taking 140 words, 180 words in four minutes and you set it up as a ratio. And then it shows all the steps where you can cross multiply five times X and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right. so. I'm going to let you study that example on your own, but I want to look up here and uh, take this problem. Let's say we're going 276 kilometers, and um, it takes us, it uses up 46 liters of gas to go those 276 kilometers. And the question is, how many kilometers can I go per liter, okay? So what we're going to do is cross multiply. So I'm going to take 276 times 1 equals 46 times, I'm going to put question mark. I don't know, maybe they used a letter in the pace. I'm trying to remember here. Uh, yes, they use X. All right, so I'll do X up here. X means we don't know what it is. We're solving for it. Now we have to undo the 46 times x. Notice I did it on the right, and I think a lot of times in the pace they do it on the left. So 46x would be over here, the 276 is over here. Um, it's the same either way, because what we're going to do is divide by 46 and take 276 and divide by 46. And it's the end of a Friday, and my brain doesn't want to do this, so I'm going to take 276 and divide by 46 and get the answer of 6. So that cancels, and x equals 6. So the answer would be 6 kilometers per liter, okay? And I don't use kilometers and liters, so I don't know if that's a good uh, rate if that's an efficient car or not, maybe some of you in other countries would know better if that's an efficient car or a gas guzzler. All right, now let's use a similar process and solve for this. I think on an upcoming page, it mentions that uh, prices back in the 1920s were a lot different. And so this was, I don't know, heads of lettuce or heads of cabbage or something like that. Now I'm going to give you a tip, and I don't know if the pace says this, but I'm going to give you a tip. And that is that you always put the money on the top. That will make it easier if you just always set it up the same way, okay? So I'm going to do 25 cents over 3 H for heads of lettuce. And I want to figure out what is the cost for 1. All right? So now I'm going to multiply. And this time I'm going to go this way and do the 3 times X equals 25 times 1, all right? And then we're going to round that to the nearest cent. So I'm going to take the 25, divide by 3, and on the calculator I can see that it becomes 8.3333333. So it's less than 8.5. Remember, 5 is that magic cutoff number. Below 5, so we can just round that off to 8 cents or 0 0.08 cents per dollar, per, uh, per head. I think in the directions it said to the nearest cent. Yes, on page 29, number 5, it says to the nearest cent. All right, now let's think about this one. Again, I'm going to put the money on the top. 
and the particular problem I'm looking at here wants to know the price per orange back in 1920s. Well, this says for a dozen oranges, so they're making us think here. I don't know, you know, for a 7th, 8th grader, this is tough. But we got to think 12. Oh, oh, yeah, 12. Okay. And then we'll do a little O for oranges. And then over here, one orange. And now we're going to figure out the price per orange. And if your mom wants you to uh, do this on paper, then don't cheat and use a calculator. But um, in the, on the Pace Success website, I did tell your mom or supervisor that for some of these problems, that might be a good idea. So I'm going to take the 57 cents and cross multiply times 1 and then take that and divide by 12. So 57 divided by 12 is 4.75 cents. Um, 12x equals 57 divided by 12. x equals 4.75. So I think we need to round that one up, don't you? Because it's more than 4.5 cents. So 4.75 cents. And we'll probably write the answer like this, 0 0.05. Even though in, when we used the calculator, it came out to 4.75. All right? Now let's come over here, and on uh, one of the next pages, you're going to have a problem similar to this, where we have, uh, we're comparing prices at two different stores, and this is for ground beef, okay? Ooh, just think about ground beef makes me think about hamburgers on the grill with some cheese, make a good cheeseburger. Mmm, making myself hungry thinking about burgers now. All right, here we are. Ham Wait, so this is the burger per pound. So if it's $8.40 for five pounds, we need to figure out what is the price for one pound. And then at another store, they don't have it for five pounds, they have eight pounds, but it's $11.90. So in order to compare them and know which is the better deal, we have to figure out what is the price per pound. So we're gonna go through the same steps. I'm gonna do the math up here. So five X, okay, cross multiply equals 8.40 times 1, okay, 1 pound, and so now I can divide by 5, 8.40 divided by 5, 1.68, all right, so you see how we did that, and then this one is going to be and I'm going to take a shortcut here. I'm just going to cross multiply 11.9 times 1. All right. And then divide that by 8. So 11.9 divided by 8 equals 1.49. I rounded that off. It's actually 1.4875. We'll round it off to 1.49. And so now the paste says circle the one that is the better deal. So of these two, this is the better deal. So you would circle that one, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. You're going to do a lot of these price comparisons as you work through page 29, um, page 30, page 31, okay? And then you'll be up to the checkup. And again, on the checkup, there's a lot of cross multiply and divide. And um, I would encourage you definitely to uh, do it on paper here and uh, ask your mom if you're allowed to use a calculator for some of the problems, maybe the story problems. But set them up first the way we did here and then do the cross multiply, divide, and find the price. Remember the tip, always put the money on the top. And that will help you always figure out the price per pound. You don't want to end up with pounds per whatever, okay? So put the money on the top. Or uh, on all of these, we did the money on the top. Here it was the distance, you know, over the uh, liters used. All right, we'll stop there and do another video in just a minute.